amnesties are very common. They're used since 1990. Half of all peace processes have included some form of an amnesty. There are some legal limits to what you can and can't introduce an amnesty for, but broadly those limits are for the most serious crimes, genocide, crimes against humanity or war crimes, but beneath that um, it's perfectly possible to design lawful amnesties. In our peace process we needed amnesties in order to make the peace process work. So for example, all of our political prisoners um, were released within two years of the signing of the Good Friday Agreement, in, including people who had committed mass murders. We needed an amnesty in order to make that process work. And again, the process worked, the weapons were destroyed. So in our context, we wouldn't have a peace process without different kinds of amnesties. My final message was that amnesties are an important part of the toolkit of making peace, but the politics have to be right. So an amnesty will not deliver peace on its own, but if the political context is right, and if the political will is there from the different political actors, then it's a very important, and indeed in our case, essential part of making peace.